What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your background within CapCut. This is a great feature that everyone should be taking advantage of. It is quick and it is easy and I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips to ensure your background is looking perfect. So let's jump into it. Okay, so now we have CapCut open. I am going to open up a new project here, create a new project, and I'm going to import my footage. So let me grab that. Now I shot myself on a white background because I wanted the background to be simple in order to remove it in CapCut. So let me just drag this onto the timeline here. I am going to do just a little bit of an adjustment to make this a little easier on CapCut when removing. So I'm going to just bring up my contrast a little bit, bring the highlights down a tad. I am going to sharpen the image a hair and that's starting to look pretty good. Maybe add a little bit more saturation. So now in order to remove the background, I will click on video and then I will click on remove BG, which stands for background. And CapCut is amazing because there is an auto removal. The auto removal works very well, so let's go ahead and click that, and it is going to analyze all my footage. As you can see, it is analyzing it down in the bottom here. And just like that, my background is removed inside CapCut. But now let's add our own virtual background. So I went onto Adobe Firefly, and I was able to download a couple of backgrounds I created using Adobe's AI. This is awesome because when you create an image using AI, you own the rights to that image. So let's import my images here. We have this image here, which is a very ice and Antarctica looking image. Then we have this image here, which is a very simple, clean living room background. Then we have this image here of a photo studio. And we also have this image here, which looks like an urban jungle living room. So now I'm going to grab these images, drag them onto my timeline. And you can see as right now, they are above my image. We are just going to grab the video of me talking and I'm going to raise it above those files. And you can see now that these backgrounds are added to my image. So in order to perfect this though, I am going to resize these images. So let's start with the Antarctica one, just so they are covering the full frame here. Now, as you can see, my image though isn't necessarily popping on the background and that is due because when you're filming with a camera, you are gonna get some depth of field. So let's go ahead and add a blur to these backgrounds in order for them to feel more realistic. So I will go up here to effects and I will type in blur. Now you can see this blur effect shows and I am going to select that and just drag it in between here which is going to create almost an adjustment layer. So it will affect all my files below. And now I am going to drag my blur effect out. And I want to put this as a simple blur because you see my body is all in focus. So maybe we set the blur to 10%. That is looking good. And it really adds just that little bit of blur which almost mimics a real camera. Okay, so that is starting to look good. Let's see how it is looking over here. Perfect. All these images and backgrounds are starting to look great. And now one thing I do want to do is I do want to darken the background a little bit because I know that I am the closest subject to the camera. So that is going to be the lightest in my frame. So let's go ahead and bring down the exposure a little bit on each one of these frames. You can do that by going up to the adjustment and then under basics and we are just going to click on exposure and I will bring this down a hair. Let's go with minus 10. Perfect, let's do this to all the images. So now let's move over to the living room and bring down the exposure a little bit. We will go with minus five here. The photo studio, this image, I am gonna bring down the exposure and let's go with minus eight. And this tropical background, Looks really great, but let's bring the exposure down a little bit more to minus eight. One thing you really want to do in order to make your image look more cohesive is I am going to click on the video of me talking. I am going to adjust the color temperature to make it fit a little bit more in the environment of the background. So let's go ahead and split this video up. And now I will click on the image of me talking and go over to adjustment. And because this is a very blue background, we want to change the color temperature to a little cooler. Perfect. Now I will go into curves. 
I will go down to the blue curve. I will introduce more blue into my shadows. So as you can see, this is really helping it blend together with the background very nicely. And I will set another point here just because I don't want it to affect my midtones and my highlights too much. But you can see if I drag this up, it is going to add a lot of blues into my shadows. And if I do this, it is going to go the opposite way and start introducing some greens. But let's go with right there. That is looking pretty good. So you can see the before and after if I come up here. So really it is a huge difference. And now I think that looks great. It really is starting to become more cohesive. So now if I go to my next clip here, you can see it is a living room setting. And honestly, this looks great right off the bat, but to adjust this a little bit, let's go over to the adjustments and add a simple curve to, which is going to affect everything. And now let's go to basics. And I will brighten this up a little bit because I think my image needs to be a little bit brighter. So if I bring the exposure up a little bit, bring the contrast down a little bit because the background is not as contrasty, I don't think my image needs to be as contrasty. And now maybe we can bring the highlights up a little bit. And then let's just warm this up a little because the image behind me is a little on the warmer side. Perfect, that is starting to look great. Let's make this full screen so we can see what it looks like. Now this image here is very dark and very orange and you can see that I am very bright. So I am going to click on myself. I am going to bring the saturation down a little bit and I will bring the exposure down a little bit to match the background just a little bit more. And maybe I'll add a little bit more contrast because this is a very contrasty background. And if I click on this, I can bring up the exposure, just the hair, but I really don't want the background to stand out as much as I want myself to stand out on the background. I think that is starting to look really good. So let's make that full screen so we can see it. Let's exit full screen and do our last image here. This image here, everything is very bright and vibrant. So we are going to add a little bit more saturation to myself and we are going to warm up the image of hair. We are also going to introduce a little bit more greens to this image because there are so many greens in the background. I think this is starting to look great. Bring the contrast down a little bit. And now you can see it really looks like I'm sitting inside that jungle living room. Now let me show you the difference between all these. You can see I adjusted my color temperature and my exposure and my contrast in order to create a cohesive image. Now let's just add a nice little transition in between all the different files. So if I go over to transition, I really like the pull in effect. So let's go in and add that type in pull. And now you can see it just blends the images from one to the other. So let's quickly add these here. Awesome. Well, I hope you learned something watching this tutorial. As you can see, it is very easy to change your background within CapCut. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below. Please like and subscribe to my channel as it really does help my channel grow. Until next time, peace.